this is what you're looking for, continue watching because I'll be showing you how you can do the same thing. So, we've got an empty project. We've got a canvas, we have a camera, we have a background, we have a grey star, and then a yellow star as a child. So, if we drag the yellow star off of the grey star, as you can see, there's a grey star of the same size underneath it. And we're using UI images, and this is our star, and we can recolor it by changing the colour here. Let's start with the star script. Right click in your assets folder, create, C sharp script, and call it star. Then double click to open it in Visual Studio. You'll want to do using Unity Engine and using Unity Engine.UI. So inside public class star, we're going to do public image yellow star, and then we're going to do private void awake. So this function occurs before the start function, in case you were curious. And we're going to do yellow star equals get component image, and then we're going to do yellow star dot transform dot local scale equals vector 3.0. So this is going to be the image and we're going to be manipulating the size of it. So what we want to do is we want to get the image, a reference to it, so we don't have to do it in the editor by dragging and dropping. And then we're going to set the size to be zero. Essentially, we won't be, we're not going to be able to see the star. And then we can expand the star to do the pop-in effect. Make sure you save your work and that's all for the star class. Again, we need to make another script, so right click, go to create, C sharp script, call it Well Done Screen Manager. Open it up, so make sure you have system.collections and Unity Engine at the top for your imports. Then at the top, we're going to do serialize field star stars. So this is going to be an array, and that's going to have a reference to every star that we want to do the pop in effect for. And then we're going to have four serialized private floats. So we're going to have the enlarge scale, the shrink scale, the enlarge duration, and the shrink duration. So the enlarge scale, this is going to be the maximum size that we want our star to be. Because as you can, as you might have seen, the star pops in. After it pops in, it then shrinks a little bit. So we go, we, we're going to make the star be 1.5 times bigger than its default size. And that's going to take 0.25 seconds to complete. After that, we're going to spend another 0.25 seconds going from 1.5 scale down to 1 scale. And so we do another 0.25 seconds to do so. We are then going to remove the update function, and in our start, we're going to do show stars 5. So basically, this is going to be how many stars are we going to show. You will want to call this somewhere else within your code maybe in some kind of game manager or whatever, because we're just worrying about the visual sides, not the mechanics of how to actually do a star rating system. And then you pass in how many stars you want to show. Obviously, if this is, if this is greater than the amount of stars in your array that you have available to use, you're going to encounter some problems. So let's define our show stars function. So here, we're going to be defining for show stars function. This is a function that you call when you want to show a certain number of stars. And this function takes in an integer, and then we're going to start a coroutine called show stars routine. So let's go down to the coroutine. Private iNumerator show stars routine int number of stars. This is a coroutine that shows the specified number of stars one by one. In Unity, coroutines allow you to perform actions over time, which is perfect for animations like this. So firstly, we're going to do for each star star in stars, then we do star dot yellow star dot transform dot local scale equals vector three dot zero. This is an optional step. You technically don't need this because our star function also does this. However, if you let's say want to do this animation multiple times, you're gonna need to include this code because this is only done in via wake. So you get an option of which one you want to potentially do. But basically we're iterating through each star in our array and setting their local scale to zero so we can't see them. Then we do for int i equals zero, i less than number of stars, i plus plus. So we're using the for loop to enlarge and then shrink each star one at a time up to the specified number of stars. And the yield return starts coroutine enlarge and shrink star stars i line waits for the enlarge and shrink star coroutine to complete before moving on to the next star. So this allows us to basically go to star number one, enlarge and then shrink it, 
Go on to star number two, enlarge and shrink it. Go on to star number three, enlarge and shrink it, and so on. So we can do it one at a time. So, here is all of the code to do our enlarge and shrink, and then changing the star scale. Don't worry, this looks complicated, but we're going to break it down. Let's focus on private enumerator, enlarge and shrink star, star, star. So, this coroutine animates a single star's enlargement and then it's shrinking. It first calls for change star scale to enlarge the star and then calls it again to shrink the star. So let's go and look at the change star scale coroutine. So we do private enumerator change star scale star star, the star we want to change the size of, the target scale and then the duration. So at first it saves the star's initial scale and then calculates the final scale based on the target scale. So it, these two lines of code right here. And then we do float elapsed time equals zero because obviously we need to keep track of the time. And then we're going to do a while loop. Elapsed time is less than duration. And inside this loop we use the vector3.lerp to smoothly interpolate between the initial and final scales based on the fraction of the duration that has passed, which is elapsed time divided by duration, it updates the scar's scale with the interpolated value, then waits until the next frame using yield return null. So basically, it's a fancy way of making us change the size of the star by a certain amount, smoothly in a certain amount of time, using fancy maths. And then finally, once the while loop finishes, it sets the star's scale to the final scale, which is down here. This ensures the star ends up exactly at the right scale, even if the loop doesn't get it quite right due to the timing of the frames. So there's a small chance maybe the timing of the loop and how Unity scales the image results in it being ever so slightly off our desired size, so we just set it to the right size after we've resized it. And overall, this code has the effect of smoothly enlarging a star to a certain size, then smoothly shrinking it back down to give a nice effect. And that's the entire script. We also added an extra thing down here which we didn't need. But that's all the code, so we save it and go back into Unity. So we go to yellow star and we drag our star script onto it. Then we go to canvas and we drag well done screen onto it. Now we go to our grey star and we drag it into our assets folder to create a prefab. And then we can just drag and drop a bunch of these into the scene and we can reposition them. So I'm going to do maybe 300 apart for each star to kind of keep it evenly nice and centered and neat. But you can do whatever you want. After you've got all your stars in the scene, go to the canvas or wherever you have your well done screen manager, mine's in the canvas, then we need to add the yellow star into this array. So you can just drag and drop them in. The order does matter because this is going to determine which star is enlarged first. So make sure you get the order correct. And that's it for this tutorial. So save your work and then hit play. And we have the effect we saw at the start of the tutorial. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Thanks for watching.